I'm here with director Habib Azar and screenwriter Kyle Jarrow. Well, you know, it's uh, it's about a man with a real uh, condition called body integrity identity disorder. You're kidding. Very, me. You're kidding me. Not kidding. Very rare, but real. It's, you know, it's like it's like anorexia. You look in a mirror, you think you look fat when you're not. People who have this condition, they look in the mirror and they feel like they shouldn't have limbs, even though they do. At its heart, it's um about love, it's about marriage, it's about secrets. So it's got like a sentimental heart to it. Uh, there were definitely challenges. I mean, it's tiny budget, uh, and we did it in 12 days. What was your reaction when uh, it was accepted at uh, the Sundance Film Festival? <laughs> Jumping up and down. <laughs> Slight disbelief followed by joy. I, when I first started writing, I could not write women. And I think a lot of male writers have that issue. And an old girlfriend of mine said to me, none of the women in any of your plays feel like real people. And ever since then, I really have tried to write women who seem real. So it's actually, I think it's a big compliment mm -hmm. that you feel like I achieved that with this. That is definitely a goal. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, in a lot of ways, even though when we talk about the movie, we say that it's about this man who has this condition, in a lot of ways, it's actually about his wife. Um, who has to sort of come to terms with the fact that he has this. I think in a lot of ways it's her movie, and I think for the audience, she's the surrogate character. Are you one of those uh, tyrannical directors? or? I think I'm a pretty loose director. I think I kind of go with the flow. I yeah. think I am. Well, we've got one of the actors here, and we're going to ask him about that, <laughs> just so you know. All right, folks, I'm speaking with actor Matt Walton from the motion picture Armless. The director and producer and the, the writer are all old friends of mine. We've worked together before, and uh, I've been behind this project from the start. When we found out we got here, I, I just couldn't wait to go. So it was a perfect, perfect mix. Okay. You do some killer karaoke in this film, hey, hey. and I was wondering if you could favor us with a rendition right now. Would you, would you mind singing us a You know what? The, uh, the number one karaoke song is, according to some magazine article I read, is uh, Don't Stop Believin'. Would you, would you favor us with a little uh, dirty right now? I think the pool acoustics in <laughs> Well, just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. That's about all I can got. Just let the midnight train go in anywhere. And that's, that, that, that's thanks to the Patron sponsors at the gifting suite. Thank oh, you very sorry. Much. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No. Got I'll be all right. Anybody? No, it's okay. And Janelle Maloney couldn't be here because she's with child, is that correct? Um, no? Maybe? She, she is with child, that is our understanding. Okay. Or pregnant, as we say in the 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Utah. <laughs>